pick that one here. Steig und er tracht, trachten, tracht die ganze Nacht. Wenn man sie nehmen und nicht verschämen, wenn man sie nehmen und nicht verschämen. Once long ago, there was a young man who stayed up all night devising his plan. Malenu, ve al coli 
Shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael Yase shalom, yase shalom Shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael Ose shalom bimromar Yase shalom malenu ve'al kol Yisrael ve'imru 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 imru amen. Everything's coming my 
This is the test of our generation, and we must respond. We stand with Israel. Bring them home. As Jews, we must redeem the hostages. The freedom-loving world should insist that the hostages be freed because the act of kidnapping people and holding them for ransom is barbaric and intolerable. Why aren't we shouting about the hostages? We must sustain the level of pain and anguish that we felt on October 7th. I guarantee the families of the kidnapped have not yet numbed to the pain. We cannot desensitize either. Well, hello, everyone. This is Jeffrey Geisner, founder of the Jewish Culture and Holocaust Remembrance Group, and now renamed uh, 10.7 uh, to honor the victims of the October 7th war. I'm so happy that you have joined us. This is a special program. We call it the Trauma Support Havara to give our friends from around the world and people are zooming in from all over and I'm admitting them as we speak. Um, the opportunity to calm themselves, to lower their worry, their anxiety, and to feel better uh, from this program once we're done. And I welcome my colleagues, my friends, and our new friends who are joining for the first time. I wanna let you know that we can't see you unless you put your cameras on. So I, I think it, you know, it's really appropriate for the performers who are going to um, bring such beautiful music to the program that you um, benefit them by um, putting your cameras on so we can see you. Uh, a couple of things that I wanna uh, share with you. Um, this is obviously on Zoom. Zoom is a technology. It does fail if you actually get bounced off your program uh, computer just click the same link that you um, have uh, come into the program. And I'll be readmitting people all throughout the program. And I'm admitting people as we speak, so I'm doing double duty here, so it's always fun. Uh, nice to see everyone. I'm going to uh, start the program. Uh, and I also want to say that if when we get to the second part of our program, which is a Q&A, for our participants and for audiences to come forward and discuss what they're feeling about what's happening in the world and uh, in Israel, as well as scaling anti-Semitism. We have a generous amount of time at the end to discuss. You'll see that I have taken my, I've hit the reactions button on the, on the toolbar for your Zoom, and I've just raised my hand like that. That allows you to come in to the top of the screen so I can see you and I can ask, ask for you to uh, unmute yourself. And we'll keep everyone muted unless, unless they're um, presenting today. I wanna to start off at the program with, the, as I always have with most of the programs since the October war, with a few moments of silence for uh, the hostages, for our brave uh, brothers and sisters who are fighting uh, this scourge that's happening uh, in Israel, but it's really around the world. And obviously for the, for the innocent civilians in Gaza who are also part of this part of this war. So I'm gonna start the program, I'll share my screen and then we'll get started.
one second, sorry. Many more bodies blown away How many more times can I say Is this piece something that we're already for today Who's to say we can throw it all away Let's teach our children how to pray Cause we can't go on living in fear and faith every day Seems shalom for every woman, every man Seems shalom for the children holding hands Seems shalom for the people of our land Are you gonna come home? Cause birds can fly higher than stones And they can kill our bodies But they'll never kill our soul Seems shallow For every woman, every man Seems shallow For the children holding Okay, welcome everyone. We are now going to begin our program. The music that I picked for this was very, uh, I have quite a catalog of music that I could choose from. And I, I try to provide music that speaks to all of us about overcoming pain, trauma, and anxiety. And our first guest, musical guest, is um, really uh, Jackie Gamache's daughter. We're thrilled to have her open the program. So Jackie, if you can, un I'm sorry, Yael, if you can unmute yourself and uh, begin the program. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, give me one second. Not Jackie, Yale. You, you don't want to have this on, Jackie. I'm sorry? I don't think you want this on because Yale is- Yes, I, I do. Okay, I'm just trying I to do. understand. Because uh, we don't see yeah, hey, oh. Ah, yeah. 
and we cannot put her uh, as oh. you did. No, huh? no, oh. you, have to, you have to stop sharing your screen and then I can make it work. All right, thank you. <laughs> but I wanted an image in the background of Yael. You in this case, like uh, you did Jackie, for the film, no? Jackie, it doesn't work. Jackie, it doesn't work. Okay. That's okay, but okay. her bumper sticker. But she'll make it work. It's Jackie Gamash, we're talking about. That, that's that, that's fine. That's make it very good. But, the, Thank but you, this is my my Yael. This is my Gazelle, which is the translation of the word Yael in Hebrew. And she is a gazelle. And she's even a gazelle <laughs> who flies yes, everywhere to help, to be present, to support, to bring art. I am, I, I will tell Little you, child. I admire, I admire her. She is beautiful. And I know you are going to have the same feeling. All okay. Right, thanks, Jackie. Go, Yael. Uh, now, you, uh, Yael, you have the program. Let's go. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, everybody. We're called Big Boss Bubula, um, the little band that we have in town. We sing Hava Nagila, we sing Beatles, we sing this song that's called um, Tree of Life. It's uh, the song for the program, We Are the Tree of Life. It goes like this. You and I, we are the tree of life. Courage always finds a plan to a whole new circumstance. And would I put out your fire if I saw the chance? And your trouble will I soften a double truth in front of me? Yeah, but am I you if you ain't me? And are you sure someone is in your tree? So joy, can you replace the chair? Cause we're just sitting there too darkened to hear the joke hardly afloat the gates of hell. But when can we forgive? When will they know the winds have blown, the seeds have grown, a tree of life? Kindness is the measure. Mm -hmm. Love is all around us. Mm -hmm. A sip of faith at the well of mercy. Throw out your fear to grow a tree of life. You and I. We are the tree of life. You make your way. You say what you want to. It's your own time. But in those days, the notes were silent. And today, they will be heard. In the days, drawings were hidden. And now they will be seen. Mom, in the days of voiceless stories, yeah, now their words will be spoken. Their ways won't be forgotten. No, we can let a people hear them. We let them work it out somehow. Because we... We remember the Shoah, so it will never happen again to you and me. 
and let's go unravel the story. Kindness is the measure. Kindness is love is all around. I hope you know what I mean. Take a sip of faith at the well of mercy. Throw out your fear to grow a tree of life. A tree of life. You and I, you and I, we are the tree of life. Courage always finds a plan to a whole new circumstance, a brand new street. I saw the chance, your troubles will I soften. To grow a tree of life, it takes a long time. You and I. I'm Israel Chai. I'm Israel Chai. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm Israel Chai. Are you planning to do another song for us or only this one? There's another song that I wrote for my dad. Okay. I want you um, to hold on that for a second. I yeah. also want to interject that, you know, Jewish music and music in general is been around for generations. It does something to each of us in our own way. We can't explain what it does to each of us, but it certainly has emotion. And it is one of the reasons why I started putting these programs together. I know all of us need the power of music, the power of art, the power of our connection, the power of our small community to heal. And whether you're healing over any issue, we're happy that you're with us today. And I'm going to turn back the program to Yael for her music for her that she wrote for her father. One for mom, one for dad. I'm very middle child. I'm very <laughs> sensitive. I really appreciate your program, Jeffrey. And I agree with you. <laughs> it's, um, it's a funny position to like make the music, you know? But I agree with you. We we survived through it. This one's for my dad. He survived the Holocaust. He was hidden by a Catholic family in the French Alps at four years old. He lost his dad. Somebody down the uh, somebody in the same neighborhood saved his mother as well. It goes like this. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Ba bum ba bum ba 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 bum. I met him on the first day of my life. He's never been further than by my side. Yes, I've never known. A better dad. I know I'm made of you. And that's why I have the joy inside my heart. That love of life. There's not much more one ever needs to have. He always lives his life. I'll tell you how. He uses his joy 
to fill the others always makes them smile. He's not worried about the wind. He's not worried about the sun. He's not bothered by the storms and gonna move along. Gonna move along. You had your one true love. You had her found. At 26 years old, she caught your heart. And now it's been 55 years. And I swear, you haven't let her down. I see it in her eyes, just under the frown. I see it in her mind. She's always loved the one who's not worried about the wind. He's not worried about the sun. He's not bothered by the storms. They're gonna move along. He tells me, Keep the light on in your life. Your laughter makes a happy sound. When they try to knock him down, can't hear them or forgive them. But if they didn't kill him there, they will never get him down. I met him on the first day. That's all. That's oh, unbelievable, beautiful. And I know how difficult that was to get out because it comes right from your heart. So thank you. It's I'm looking at my mom. I'm looking at all of us. But we have so much strength better, and so much love. I'll give you a better view. Hold on one second. Just give me a second. Uh, thank you for letting us do that. BigBossBoobalaBand.com Hold on. Let me get this to work. All right, let me do this. So now you can see everyone. So that's cool. Yeah, so, I was looking at everyone. Round of applause as a group. So thank <laughs> you very much. And I Thanks, want. Oh, I want to let the. I want to let the group know also. Um, and I know, uh, Henny is with us uh, here on the Zoom. Unfortunately, her band uh, became ill and was unable to join us today. So um, we have a pretty stellar uh, understudy for uh, this group. And we'll leave that to the end so that we keep you intrigued and make sure that you don't leave us. I don't think you'll be disappointed uh, with what's going to be coming up at the end. So uh, I want to let everyone know that uh, Yale Ye has to leave us. She has to go to work. Someone has to do Thanks, the work. Somewhere. And so uh, she'll be she'll be leaving us, and she won't be with us for part two. So we won't won't say her uh, our goodbyes to her, and I'll let you leave whenever you feel comfortable. Next up on the program is uh, mommy, and uh, Jackie, you're going to take over the screen share, and you can do what you'd like to do. So uh, Jackie has a very interesting program prepared, uh, and as only Jackie can do, and most of you who have been with us before, know Jackie very well from our group. And here we go. Go ahead, Jackie. Why don't you start your uh, screen, your slideshow.
Okay. No, okay. You, you just started. Yeah. yeah, I know because I didn't unmute myself and I don't know how to do it. Okay, you see up? Okay. Now you, do, okay. you do hear me, right? Yeah, do you see where it says custom? It says where it says from beginning at the very, yeah. very left? Yeah. Click on that. No, no, hold on. Hold. No, you're fine. Just click on what I'm telling you to click on. <laughs> You see where it says from, from the beginning. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. But beautiful. I am trying to uh, put the video panel. Voila, that's what I was trying to do. Okay. Um, thank you, Jeffrey. And uh, thank you uh, for the, the theme of this presentation. And uh, I choose to do a PowerPoint because I don't know. I am 83 years old. I think I am a lucky person if you see my Yael and you hear my Yael. And my two other girls and grandchildren are, of course, exceptionally beautiful human beings. That means I did balance it with a little bit using songs for coping with my life experience. I don't know if I had the traumas in my life. I don't know it was just an anxiety but I'm going to take you through a short trip through it and we'll see I have, why, what, why it's hit your uh, side arrow. Why it's not moving. Hit your, side, hit your side arrow or your space bar. Yeah, but it doesn't work. Oh, I hate that. Okay. Uh, let, let me, let me do it again. Okay. Slideshow from. You have the screen share. Okay, and here. You're not on screen share. Uh, here, you have uh, to I'm screen not on the screen share. share. No, you have to screen okay. share first. I think maybe you should forget about my presentation. What can okay, I say? Okay, fine. You don't need it. Okay. okay. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You don't. You need you it. just say yourself. You might have problems. I am in the share here. Okay. okay. And I am bringing my stuff. Right. What don't I do it this way? It's going to it will avoid the do problem. Do it any way you want. Go ahead. Does it work here? Yes. Okay. I, I had prepared a slide for you to follow your words, but I don't know very much about technology. Uh, and uh, But this is the words that I wanted you to follow. Now, from Yael, I am going to take you to uh, Jacqueline, Simcha, Ronit, Nenataf, Gmash. And that uh, briefly within a number of uh, images. I was born in Tunis, Tunisia. And as you can see, it's a, I, w I wanted to present it to the, the building of it uh, through uh, the life of the Romans and uh, finally take you or you take yourself in the story of the Jews and the, and the Romans periods. Introducing you to my dad and my mom. Here, I was, uh, this is my dad and me at the age of four. And most of the kids uh, in Tunisia, who were Jewish, were going to uh, Christian schools. Uh, that's uh, you can see that I have the, wearing the uniform and the hat. And uh, one day I stopped in front of the big church of uh, Tunis when walking with my dad, and I kneeled down and I did the sign of the cross. And that day my father took me out of of the school. Here I am on my way to music. My mother gave me so much, and she. She was Algerian, per position of my father who was uh, Tunisian, and she was very much into all kind of education. And she cared for me like any mother in the world. Evidently, it is in Arabic, and it says, 
My mother is always here for me. Every morning she comes, she wakes me up, she baths me, she gives me food, and she loves me. And I think those words are always in my mind. And perhaps, perhaps, who knows, when I raise my three children, more or less over four or five countries, I did the same. After all, we are in the world of the Holocaust, and I wanted really to share very shortly this story with you. I was uh, two years old, 1942, and as you know, in 1942, German soldiers, I would not say Nazis, but German soldiers were in occupying Tunisia and were in uh, Tunis as well, that camp in Bizet and other places. This is the building where I lived, and this is the balcony where I stood uh, when playing at the age of two. And suddenly, when playing, I drop a nutcracker. And those nutcracker where I have it in my home, and I gave you an image here, were uh, solid uh, metal. And the nutcracker fell on the head of a German officer. My grandmother, who was in the house with my mother and my aunt, got scared. And what she did, she asked my mother and my aunt to hide in uh, somewhere underneath the bed uh, because she saw the German officer coming into the building. Knock at the door. She opens the door and then she grabs me put me up and start spanking me as much as she could. It was probably hurting me, but I start crying, of course. And the German officer said, please, ma'am, she is just a kid. And his head bleeding, bleeding. And he said, don't worry, don't worry. Leave her alone, don't hit her. And that's the way I call that another way to discover history. However, then we were in 1942. I'm going to take you to 1958, which is my point of no return, when, as you know, Jews had to leave the Arab countries. It started in 58 until 67, more or less, and uh, went to France to study. And at the same time, was spending my summer vacation in Israel due to the fact that I couldn't go back to Tunis, where my family was living. And there I fell in love with Israel. Erev shel shoshanim Netzenna el habustan More besamim ulevona Leragelech miftan Laila yored lea Veru ashosham noshua Ava el hashla shir bala Zemer shel hava Shachar humayona Roshech malet lalim Pichel aboke shoshana Hektefenuli It's a love song about flowers, roses, and love. I mentioned to you that I was in France to study, and you can see me here at the university uh, working on my science degree. And uh, one day I met Jean-Jacques, Jean-Jacques Muller, the handsome man that you see on the screen, and he asked me to marry him. And, uh, you know, raised in a very traditional, strict family, I think the only thing was that we were holding hands never kissed Jean-Jacques, and he never kissed me. But I was in love. And that's probably one of the 
elements of my anxiety, my, I, I, I think, I don't know exactly the definition of the word trauma, but I don't want to go so far. And I love Jean-Jacques. What do you do when you are 1959, 19 years old to 20 years old, and you love somebody? I went to my dad and I said, Dad, I want to marry Jean-Jacques. Who is Jean-Jacques? Jean-Jacques Muller. Is he Jewish? No. But he will convert. No, say my dad. And everything stopped there. You know this song, but in this song it says, but the life separates those who love slowly and noiselessly, and the sea erases on seashore sands the footsteps of separated lovers. Oh, je voudrais tant que tu te souviennes des jours heureux où nous étions amis. En ce temps-là, la vie était plus belle et le soleil plus brûlant qu'aujourd'hui. Les feuilles mortes se ramassent à la pelle. Tu vois, je n'ai pas oublié, les feuilles mortes se ramassent à la pelle, les souvenirs et les regrets aussi. Et le vent du nord les emporte dans la nuit froide de l'oubli. Tu vois, je n'ai pas oublié la chanson que tu me chantais. C'est une chanson qui nous ressemble. Toi, tu m'aimais, moi, je t'aimais. Et nous vivions tous deux ensemble. Toi qui m'aimais, moi je t'aimais. Mais la vie, c'est par ce qui s'aime. Tout doucement, sans faire de bruit, et la mer efface sur le sable les pas des amants des unis. The footsteps of separated lovers. But I was going back and forth with Israel and how one cannot fall in love with Jerusalem shall Zahav, the city of three faith. If I may open a parenthesis, I would suggest, if you didn't read it yet, to read the city of three faith, three faiths by Ah, uh, by, forgot, forgot the author, but I can put it in the chat. Avirarim salul kayayin, berechachoranim, nitsaberu acharvayim, im kolpahamonim. Uftar de matilan va heaven, shfuya bachaloma, aya sherbada dio shever, uberi bachoma. I would love for you to join me. Yerushalayim shelza, veshel nechoshet veshelo. Alo lecho shirai anikino.
back to France, back and forth, France, Israel for a number of years, fell in love with David, the famous guy that Yael described with our song, and went to my father and I say, I met somebody, can I get married? Yes. Tumba la tumba la tumba la la ka tumba la tumba la tumba la la ka tumba la la ka spiel ba la la ka tumba la la ka spiel ba la la ka stai e boche gestein tun tracht tracht un tra den gänsen a Wenn en zu nehmen, nun nicht verschämt. Wenn en zu nehmen, nun nicht verschämt. And David brought me to San Diego. And San Diego uh, is San Diego. If you think about the girl coming from Tunisia, trying to accommodate herself in France, and uh, in fact, we spent also some time in Montreal, and uh, Paris, my family stay over there. I can hear with my three kids. Uh, I did work hard. I believe in Jewish culture. I discover another world and I needed help. And I got this help through Shlomo Kalbach. In fact, I was his driver for seven days in, his, in Israel. Eso henai ele horim me yain me yain yovo ezri Eso henai ele horim me yain me yain yovo My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. And one of the blessings came from Debbie Friedman, my dearest, dearest, dearest friend, Debbie Friedman. At every step of my life in San Diego, which was beautiful grandchildren, I do have five grandchildren, but gave, Debbie gave me the strength to keep going to a place I did not know. Mechi la to a land and I will show you. Lech lecha to a place you do not know. Lechi la on your journey I will bless you. And you shall be a blessing. You shall be a blessing. You shall be a blessing. Lechila. Lechila. And I shall make your name great. Lech lecha, and the heart shall praise your name. Lech ila, to the place that I will show you. Le simchat chayim, le simchat chayim. Oh my goodness, uh, that is a beautiful 
if you saw me, I was wiping tears. What a beautiful presentation, Jackie. Thank you. It comes so deep and so emotive from the heart. So thank you so much for sharing this with us. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. I think I think I'm also very emotional by listening to you, to David and uh, thank you. I, I really. I thank, will be back. <laughs> I, I love you, Jackie, and everyone who meets you, you too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. I, I also want to let everyone know that um, we would love for you to turn on your cameras, be with us, be present in the meeting. I. I have set the uh, Zoom to not have you show if you don't have your camera on. So it'd be really great for the performers who are doing such a beautiful job to be able to see your faces as they uh, look at you while they're singing. And that brings us to Judith. And Judith, why don't you introduce yourself, the music that you're going to share. I'm going to be running um, videos that Beautiful produced, um, and I will get that ready. Well, Jeffrey, thank you so much for including me in this wonderful presentation. It's really an honor and a pleasure. Um, and so, uh, I just want to say I'm a, I'm actually a clinical psychologist, and which is what I do all the time. And I'm working with people that suffer from trauma every day and experiencing all of that. And so music is a very vital part of my existence to help when you absorb all of that pain and suffering from your patients, there has to be some way to come out of it and to uh, nourish yourself and to be ready for the next day, another day of trauma and pain and suffering that you have to give of yourself in order to help people heal. If you don't hear it and feel it, they will never heal from it. You can't just sit there like a, a stone. It doesn't work. So um, currently the understanding of PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, is that what a sufferer expresses about the PTSD is not the real problem because the real reaction to trauma is so deeply embedded in the unconscious that it cannot be verbalized. I'm suggesting that perhaps music can reach those deep areas that are not able to be verbalized. Rabbi Schnur Zalman of Liadi taught, if words are the pen of the heart, then song is the pen of the soul. The soul's pen, however, writes in the opposite direction from the heart's. While words carry meaning downwards from God's own primal consciousness into the minds of sages and the lips of prophets to inscribe them upon human hearts, song carries the soul upwards to be absorbed within the infinite light. My first song, uh, first of all, before I introduce it, I wanna say the three videos that we're going to play now do not have a moving video. It's just the song on YouTube with my picture. So I would encourage you if you wanna close your eyes and just feel it and think whatever thoughts come into your head, whatever helps you to heal and to feel more alive and more vital. And I hope my songs can help you do that. The first one is called Help Me Through. It's a song about calling out to David HaMelech to reach out to God through the Psalms to heal him, to find the strength to endure pain. And it's called Help Me Through. My job. Your job. <laughs> okay. Well, okay.
Okay, Judith, you can continue to introduce the next one and I will um, play it. Judith? Judith? She's I'm muted. Sorry. I okay. muted myself so I could sing along with it. Um, so um, I just want to say that because we are the Jewish people and Israel all together, we are engaged right now in a spiritual war against evil. And so I'm wearing this T-shirt to uh, in solidarity and with everything. And my myself and relatives and a friend, we just succeeded in delivering three drones to my cousin's unit in Gaza on the front line in the Chal 931, Section Six, so that they could save to save lives and to help them in their efforts uh, for for all of us. And um, I'm I'm very encouraged that the drones were delivered and now they can use them. So thank God. Um, and now my second song is a song about trying to connect with God while suffering from loss of finding comfort in commemorating life with others and accepting the infinity of the soul. And the name of the song is I Am That I Am. Okay, Jeffrey. Sorry. Something in my heart tells me you love me. Something in my soul tells me you're here. I trust, I believe in your love.
Go ahead, Cher. Go ahead, Judith. So the next song is called Everything Changes. It's about rising up from a dark place to discover the truth inside you, the strength to reach out for friendship. My father, a Holocaust survivor who uh, survived the siege of Leningrad, where only 50 men out of 11,000 in his unit survived. And he went on to uh, liberate Maidana concentration camp. And he saw all the horrors when he entered the camp still operating. And they were tearing off the breasts, the dogs were tearing off the breasts of women and the genitals of men. He saw everything. And even with that, he was a lover of peace. And he said to me, Judy, remember, there are more good people in the world than bad. So every time you go forth, and my song talks about this, that when you go forth and terrible things happen, search for a friend to help you. Even if you find people that are not good, some you will find good people. Eventually, somehow, you will find the good people. Don't give up. So here's my song, Jeff. Everything changes.
Okay, Judith, thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. I want to also, uh, you know, we, our community is 20,000 members and streaming users from all over the world. And the talent that is in this community has been yet to be really discovered by me. So I want to take the opportunity to those of you who are listening and with us today, if you have a talent, please let me know. I'll put my email address in chat. I'm continually creating programming that is what I hope is unique and interesting, but it comes from your talent. And Judith won't blow her own horn, but she has such talent. Obviously, she disclosed that she's a psychologist, but you can actually join Judith on musical holiday cruises. So why don't you take a second to let someone okay. know what you're doing there. It's fabulous. And you've been doing it for years upon yeah. years upon years. I've been leading uh, services for the Jewish holidays on celebrity cruise ships. I also sail was on Seabourn once and I've done 21 luxury cruises. And I just came back from the Mediterranean cruise for the high holidays on the celebrity edge, which is, was fabulous. I'm going on Pesach. I signed up to go to Israel and Egypt, that cruise for Pesach, and they re, uh, reassigned everything to Greece and Turkey and Cyprus because of the war. So I I hope it would be great if they would re, you know reassign again, but I I think that it's gonna be going on. So we'll be in Greece and uh, it, and I'll be, with celebrity for for Pesach leading the Seder. And then next fall, again with celebrity this time from Vancouver to Hawaii, to Tahiti, to New Zealand for the high holidays. And then for Hanukkah, I'll be with celebrity on the newest ship and it will be for, from Fort Lauderdale where there's a zillion Jews joining us on the ships with their families and everything going and we'll be on the, on the islands and the Dominican Republic and 14 days of going around islands and having Hanukkah celebrations on. Oh, we're, so we're so jealous. Come, come on. <laughs> you have a tough life come there. With, come with me. <laughs> yeah, we, we do want to come with you. Which sets up, which sets up our furthest participant coming from Zoom from South Africa. One of my faves, one of my best buds is Zola Schumann. <laughs> And Zola is going to introduce her program, and we're going to, again, uh, use video uh, to um, present the creativity and the compositions that Zola has created. Hi there. Hello. Um, for me, it's night time, so good evening and good morning, wherever you are in the world. Um, so as we all know, music is the universal language. It connects us all, despite our religions, our beliefs, our cultures, our languages, it affects every single person. And it actually bypasses logic. It goes straight into the heart. It goes straight into the emotions, which is why it's so useful to heal and why music therapy is, is so, you know, well utilized and, and effective. Um, it affects the cortisol, it affects brain waves. Um, and it's interesting when I, I'm a singer songwriter, but even though I write lyrics, the music is my first place that I go to and feel. And when I listen to other people's music and songs, I hear the music first, the music hits me and just goes straight into my stomach, my heart, my soul, it bypasses the thoughts. It goes straight to the feelings and I actually have to concentrate to listen to the lyrics because to me that's cerebral and thoughtful. Um, I also worked with children. I taught children and I wrote a lot of children's songs and particularly for this group of healing songs that I've chosen, um, I chose to stay away from the Jewish theme except for my last song. Uh, because of the way these particular songs made me feel, but yet I have linked them to the trauma that we've been experiencing. When I was teaching the children one of their favorite songs that they asked me to sing for them over and over again in their quiet 
time. They didn't even want to sing it because I taught them performance. They always wanted the yellow balloon song. And when I eventually asked them, you know, little kids about, you know, how come you wanted it? it was a slow song. It's not like an upbeat kid song. And they said that it just made them feel good. And when I was thinking about the children that were taken hostage, I wanted this song to be played for them because what the song does, it takes you to a place in your imagination where you want to be, where you will feel good, where you want to go. And so whenever we're feeling bad or sad or troubled, isn't it so wonderful to have been a child in innocence and to just have that fantasy and we can make up and create worlds. And if we can go there again as adults, it's so peaceful. When you are taken on a meditation, they often say, think of a place that makes you feel happy, that makes you feel peaceful. So in this song, I want the yellow balloon to take you to a place that's going to make you feel really good. Okay, well, Jeff. let's all go. So think of a place that you find so peaceful, whether you make it up or not. Not my prayer, yellow balloon. <laughs> So I hope 
you took yourself on a little journey somewhere that just made you feel nice, a little escape. And when I'm feeling something emotional, um, I will often go to the piano and just play. And the music that we play in various emotional moods changes. You know, if you're feeling angry, you get that you can go with percussion and loud and banging, or you can use sweet, soft sounds to make you feel calmer and so on. The other thing that I do when I'm traumatized is I eat chocolate. And I thought, hmm, one day I'm going to have to combine eating chocolate with music. And it so happened that another thing that's very common in tradition of Jews is the sense of humor. And in the worst of times, we will often have an amazing sense of humor that gets us past hectic trauma and suffering. And my parents, who were both Holocaust survivors, used humor a lot. And my mother was a singer in the Vilna Ghetto, and she used to sing her brother's songs, Leib Rosenthal wrote. My mother's name was Chayla. And a lot of the musicals that were performed in the ghetto had humor in it, along with hope and songs of strength and resilience. But there was also a lot of humor, even in the worst of circumstances, there was humor. And the one day the doctor had told me I had some stomach issues and he said, you have to cut out chocolate and caffeine. And I was like, no. And this song comes out of that. So enjoy the humor that can also bring you out of a funky dark space. I went to the doctor just the other day I had a burning in my belly That just wouldn't go away He said, lady, give up chocolate Give up coffee, give up tea He said, lady, give up anything containing caffeine So to cure my condition Set my symptoms free I took his prescription But only half agreed I gave up coffee, switched to decaf tea, but I refused to ditch my cocoa bean. Cause I get nasty, I get mean. If I am deprived of my cocoa bean, I get badly depressed. Oh, I blow a fuse. These are sad side effects of the cocoa bean blues. Cocoa Bean Blues Well, I admit it's an addiction that's gone too far This dreamy affair with a chocolate bar My rendezvous with cocoa laced with milk Rich and creamy like a kiss of silk Ooh To sweeten my soul But I get nasty I get mean If I'm deprived of my cocoa bean I get badly depressed Or I blow a fuse These are the sad side effects Of the cocoa bean blues The cocoa bean blues Now little chips and cookies are a total waste the cure of fancy fillings just dilute the taste but i don't mind a hazelnut in every third bite i can stomach some distractions in my dairy delight
diagnosis me well be right that I'm so focused on what I need tonight so his remedy just would not be the dose of medication I'd use cause with my yearning for chocolate if I gotta choose I'll take the burning in my belly over the cocoa bean blues so needless to say I am back to eating chocolate and that's just fine <laughs> so the music I, I encourage people to make playlists of their favorite kind of songs that make them feel good. And they can be anything, you know, that, that makes you feel good, that connects and resonates with you. Because every song is, is absorbed by each different person differently, depending on their mood and their taste and, and where they are. And because it affects the neural pathways and it does affect your mood, it can change feel feelings of deep trauma and anxiety and depression and it can lift you so make your own little playlist that you know you can revert to in times when you're really really feeling stressed um the third song that i want to share with you is a song that i wrote as a universal prayer for anyone who is going through a rough time and the words will say and hopefully the music will speak to you too. I pray, Jeff. There will come a day And there will come a night When everything around you And all there is about you Suddenly feels right And there will be no doubt And there will be no fear That is my wish, that is my prayer, yeah, yeah. And there will be a world filled with only love, where everything you have and all that you are really is more than enough and there will be no pain no need to shed a tear that is my wish that is my prayer yeah yeah Every living, breathing thing will finally get the chance to see how it's all supposed to be, what it really means to be free. Then it will be your time to live the life you choose. Every moment like a dream, every move you make you win, there'll be no battles left to lose, and there'll be only hope, no 
no reason to despair. That is my wish. That is my prayer for you. That is my wish. That is my prayer. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Wow. Well, Amen. Oh, you know I love you, Zora. <laughs> and we passed crossed almost three years ago, virtually. And I met Zola on, on Zoom, one of our event Zooms. And Zola, over the last three years, has literally come to most of the events that we produce, sometimes multiple times a month. So it's, it's every time she comes, I, she lights up the space that she occupies, and she's a light. And all of you who, who are presented today are so multi-talented. Zola has created an exhibition for her parents, which is traveling around South Africa. It's getting tremendous reviews. I'm honored that you can even spend time with us to dedicate time to share your talent with our community. It's terrific. And Thank so I want to, again, you. remind everyone, if you're not on screen, to please come on screen for the second half of our of our program. We want to be able to see you, talk to you, uh, and you can't come on unless you enter your camera because you don't have access based on my controls that I have set up for the program. You heard from our guests that um, how they music affects them what they're doing for uh, to overcome their anxieties, their traumas, how they're counseling others to do the same. So I would love to, if you have any questions for them, you have the floor, just raise your hand on the, either raise your hand on the reactions button. I'm sure I know always Jackie beats, you, you're like Jeopardy, you know, you hit that button faster than anyone else uh, does. So go ahead, Jackie, unmute yourself and, and ask your question. You're not, you have to unmute. I see, I'm doing that because I forget things like to unmute. Zola, uh, it, it's beautiful. Is there is there a way to have the lyrics or even an audio of oh, the YouTube. prayer? YouTube. All yes, all, on all, YouTube. My, all my songs are on YouTube. So if you go to Zola, my prayer, um, if you want, I can email you no, the that's lyrics fine. I will as find well. It. Okay. okay. I'll, 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 thank you. So put it in chat for everyone. Is what am I putting in chat? Yeah. Is there anybody it's else? It's easy. Just found it. Okay. Okay. Is there <laughs> anybody else who wants to add uh, their voice? Okay. Well, I have um, our surprise uh, coming, and I'm going to let Jackie introduce the surprise because Jackie is integrally involved with. Um, how this all came together and she'll tell you a little bit about her amazing project that she's bringing around the United States and the world okay. so which we brought to the International Film Festival for JCHR now which we had uh, a month ago which was incredible we had almost 300 people who RSV'd for that program so go ahead Jackie make sure you're on mute hold on hold on I'm going to go back to the screen share hopefully it's going good to luck work. okay okay i i i, uh, I don't know I, this is a... can you see it or not hit on the first slide okay but you can see the slide right i can see it now yes okay okay i just wanted to have this slide because uh, it uh, it it's a project that an initiative that uh, I titled We Are the Tree of Life. And uh, the reason uh, of, uh, I wanted to present to you how this initiative took life. In 2018, just at uh, when we had this horrific time 
with the Tree of Life Synagogue of Pittsburgh, I was totally lost, totally devastated, totally horrified. And my point, which goes back a little bit to my previous presentation, was how a country like America, who is just 300, 400 years old, I don't know, with four, five, six generation, can go to such horrific time. And that took me to the thought of trying to educate my granddaughter, Yvette, who was then nine years old. And I say, I have to teach her about the Holocaust. And I started to teach her about the Holocaust, about all those survival situations of the kids uh, of uh, Terzenstadt with their drawing, uh, or the musicians, or the people who were singing and painting in the Vilna Ghetto. And after a few conversations, she came back to me and she sent me this image that you can see here of the tree. And she said, Meme, Grandma, I understand what you want. And I said, what do you mean? And she said, you see, this is what I designed, a tree and trunk, uh, dark roots. That means the tree is healthy and we have music and we have butterflies. And I said, but Yvette, what are those little circles? I am scared about trying to enlarge the image. Uh, and, okay, so we can uh, see it. Uh, hold on, hold on. Hold Don't bother. On, because... Jackie, it's fine. We can see okay. it. Okay. Okay. Okay, Mr. Jeffrey. Yeah. Okay, that means uh, I say, what are those little circles? Are they leaves? And she said, answered over the phone, Mimi. Of course, they are leaves. That's what a tree has. But I said, but why they are circles? Because she said, that's what you told me. I said, I told you. And she said, yes. You know, Mimi, you have to understand. When I go to school and somebody gives me a hard time, I am sad. I don't know what to do. Then I go home and I find my mother and I find my sister and I find my brother and I find my dad and I feel better. That means it's like a circle, Mimi, and that's what you want to call survival. And that took me to describing and to putting this initiative, We Are the Tree of Life. The, the vision um, is that based upon a resurrection of all the arts performed in camps, in ghettos, anywhere during this World War II, and uh, to learn from it. That means those inmates in horrific situations were able to draw, were able to dance. Were, we had the piano in Auschwitz. And uh, I was thinking about how to bring all this learning to the world of today. And the individual, the students of 17 years old, who loves to sing and has the talent of singing, can learn from it and can see his own survival and his own resilience and his own well-being. Because unfortunately, even in the world of today, among our young children, and young teenager, we have a lot of them who are leaving us because of trauma, because of the what they what their situation is. I finally did a movie, a documentary, uh, with uh, two people. One of them was present here this morning, Alan Markovitz, who is a producer of IMAX Theater and uh, Clint Burkett, who was the, the producer. We did a 72 movie, a 72 minute movie, where we interview as a dialogue. That means we had two representatives, for example, of the dance performed in camps, presented by two people who were talking to each other was not really one person interview and that make a sense of creativity and uh, uh, an interest for everybody. One of the sequences talking about music was Peter Yarrow from Peter, Paul and Mary with the wife of Theodore Bickel. And the two of them were explaining 
for example, what Theodobical went through. Peter, of course, as an activist. I have a long list of links, video links, of uh, people, uh, of um, events that we pro presented uh, this last two to three years. The miracle of it is, it was three people, two non-Jews from my home, and we became international. And we became international. The movie is in study as a link at Yad Vashem. My most beautiful presentation and professional event was in being invited by the American Society of Yad Vashem and presenting the, that we are the tree of life to a Lutheran university. And they were absolutely fascinated. And I think, and Mark said that, Mark Newhouse said that many, many times, how do we educate? How do we take all that? Uh, uh, to to the world and finally give something to hold on, like your chocolate, I don't know, to hold on to those kids is here, the performing arts. Very, very impressive with your orientation. That means that took me, uh, I have to, uh, Peter Yarrow, who is a very, very, very close friend uh, and uh, who helped me to develop that. Today, I am taking the approach of anti-Semitism and how to combat anti-Semitism through the arts. And uh, I am selecting, uh, Zola, I, I send you a text. I'm selecting to illustrate that uh, two artists. One is an artist uh, by the name of David Oler, who is, was a Sonder Commando. The Sonder Commando were those Jews as inmates in... Auschwitz were grabbing the burned bodies and tried to bury them for the ones that they buried. And his images that he sent to the world today as a survivor. And the other one is Samuel Bach, uh, who is an artist uh, who survived the Vilna Ghetto and uh, was uh, living in Israel and now lives in Boston, Israel, and show a world of destruction with still existence and stability. And the way I illustrate that when I ha don't have images is, you all know the little kid who is like that, right? In the images of the Holocaust, who became a rabbi, in fact, in Israel, in, and rendering himself. It's a very, very well-known image. His, his hands are a little bit back and he's holding a Magen David. That means he's still rendering, but the Magen David is here. That mean, and Peter and I and many of us are ready to develop that. Uh, I, I could talk for hours. Yes. I don't know what make Mr. Jeffrey wants make me to do. You always tell me what to do. All right, make the introduction to Peter, please, so I can, I can move on. I was That's good there. All right, so <laughs> go. <laughs> we have we always have this running banter between Jackie. And I love her. to do that. It's <laughs> fun. <laughs> so I'm going to share my screen. I want you to enjoy the music that Peter played last month on our international film event for We Are the Trio Life Carry On, and I hope you all will enjoy it. That will be the end of once I play the three different pieces, all of them are so well known. I want you to sing at home. I can't, I don't want you to unmute yourself because it will destroy the music, but you will honestly love to sing along to these musical numbers. So here we go. Must a man walk down before they call him a man? Yes, and now many seas must.
must a white dove sail before she sleeps in the sand. And how many times must the cannon balls fly before they're forever banned?
over this land I sing it out danger I sing it out a warning I'd sing out a love between my brothers and my sisters all, all over this land Well, I've got a hammer And I've got a bell And I've got a song to sing All over this land It's the hammer of justice Still the bell of freedom The song about the love between my brothers and my sisters All, all over this land All over this land You may think that this is Buff the Magic Dragon And it is my friend But before I sing it I should let you know That Puff is not bar about marijuana Sorry to disappoint you That rumor is spurious And here is why that's true In 1959 when it was written by Lenny Lipton and me We were at Cornell Known as a wonderful Ivy League University And at that time There were no drugs at all Grass had not come from the West Coast To be with us there and The worst thing we did was go on a panty raid, my friends Or have beer in the dorms Or a girl <laughs> So we didn't have the data I could not have written a song with Lenny About a dragon that had a subtext Of grass at all Later I could have done it many times But not then, for sure, my friends So that clears the name of Puff, you know And the story has a happy end Puff, the magic dragon Lived by the sea And frolicked in the autumn mist In a land called Hanalei Little Jackie Paper He loved that rascal Puff And he brought him strings and sealing wax And other fancy stuff Oh Puff, the magic dragon Lived by the sea Frolicked in the autumn mist In a land called Honolly, Puff the Magic Dragon is very well known all over the world. In fact, it's known by young people, three and four years old, that get up and sing it at concerts, and I'm astonished that they still know the words. Okay, back to the song now. Together they would travel on a boat with billowed sail Jackie kept a lookout perched on Puff's gigantic tail Noble kings and princes would bow whene'er they came Bow, 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 bow There we go Pirate ships would lower their flags when Puff roared out his name Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea Frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali Puff the magic dragon lived 
by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Annali. The dragon lives forever, but not so little girls and boys. Painted wings and giant's rings make way for other toys. One gray night it happened, Jackie Paper came no more. And Puff, that mighty dragon, he ceased his fearless roar. His head was bent in sorrow, green scales fell like rain. Puff no longer went to play. Along the cherry lane, without his lifelong friend, Puff could not be brave. So Puff, that mighty dragon, sadly slipped into his cave. Puff, the magic dragon, but you don't have to be sad because he's happy. Because Jackie Papers. Daughter visits him with regularity, which means that Puff's no longer lonely, and it also means that girls can go to Honolulu. So that's your update, my friend, tonight. And so you'll see that Puff, the magic dragon, still lives by the sea and frolics. In the autumn mist, in a land called Hanali. Yeah. Yay! Applause. More applause. More applause. <laughs> wow. Well, if you wanted to. Uh... Hold on to So I want to also let you know that our next event for uh, our community is on February 18th, which is on a Sunday. Um, it is with three terrific authors. We're bringing back for the third time uh, Lady Esther Gilbert, the widow of Martin Gilbert, the famous Holocaust historian. Uh, Esther is continuing his terrific work in writing and updating uh, history through uh, the many books that he's written. So I hope you all will reconvene here on Sunday and, and listen to Esther. Also, Joe Sor Sorinsky, who has written a Holocaust um, novel published by Amsterdam Publishing, which is a well-known Holocaust publisher, and Jess Helper, who is a Berkeley University professor who's written information about Sephardic Jews, which is a very interesting uh, topic that we don't do enough of, actually. Um, I want to, uh, and, and Mark, you raised your hand. I, I want to give you the opportunity to say something if you, if you want to. Go ahead. Yeah. First of all, thank you, everybody. For this wonderful program, I have to tell you, I very rarely get depressed. Uh, but I was talking with a friend of mine today about the state of the world, and I was very depressed. But this program has cheered me up tremendously. So I want to thank everybody. Uh, I was beginning to think I'd have to go and uh, visit Puff the Magic Dragon for some grass. <laughs> so it's nice to know that it wasn't about grass, something I've never used. But yeah. It really felt good to see a different side of how music can make us all joyful, even in the most terrible of times. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, everybody else. It was just a wonderful program. Thank you. Terrific, terrific. It was a very, it'll be, it is recorded, by the way, and it'll be online in the YouTube channel. I'll take you two seconds to, I want to show you uh, the YouTube channel for a minute so you all can see it. And here it is. Um, this film, the International Film Festival, where Jackie's terrific project and Peter's project and Clint and Alan's um, is right here. 
Um, we also have a program that is, it's building um, called the Anti-Semitism Revolution, or it's time for an anti-Semitism revolution. We're looking for members who are committed to making a difference, wanting to put their shoulders to uh, looking how to educate non-Jews and Jews on hate, on genocide, and anti-Semitism. So if you are interested, please go to the email address that I put in the chat. I would love to have you. We have about 20 people who are already starting to meet. Um, Cheryl Kamen, who is on this program somewhere uh, in one of the slots, if she's still with us, is, is championing this with me. Um, so I want to um, let you know that. And I want to also finalize the program, and I would be remiss to do so to again think about our brothers and sisters in Israel, the hostages. So I'm going to end with one more video, and then we will see you hopefully on the fifth, on the 18th. So if I can find it, so hold on one second. I have four different browsers that I'm working with, so let me see if I can figure out where I put it. I think it's easier to just do this. I'm coming home, coming home. Tell the world I'm coming And the blood will dry Underneath my nails And the wind will rise up To fill my sails So you can doubt And you can hate But I
So thank you everyone for allowing me to bring my creativity to you in this community. I really love all of you and I hope to see you again on February 18th. Thank you very much. You'll see the recording available. Please share it widely so we uh, let other people know what we're doing. Thank you very much. Bye now.